right, there's this thing called King's Day, and it used to be called Queen's Day. And I have to admit to not being a great fan of this particular day. And it's not so much that the day itself is weird, it's how I react to, uh, as somebody who lives in Amsterdam, how I react to millions, or it seems like millions of people <laughs> coming to Amsterdam with the sole purpose of being crazy. You know, it's like this one day where, um, as if some some door has been unlocked in the, uh, the national psyche and everybody opens up. And it's not necessarily bad, it's just that it's so busy and when I say all these, cra I mean crazy, not like insane, but just really energized people and it, it's, yeah, my, I get a sensory overload or something like that. Anyway, um, okay, so I said I don't like this day, but you're looking at photographs of such a day. And so how did I get them? Well, the answer to, to that is pretty simple. Circumstances. Uh, back in 2016, the day before King's Day, the weatherman said it's going to be terrible weather. I mean, really, he, 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 everybody was talking about this. Oh, dear me, oh, dear me. It's going to be such a horrible King's Day, bad weather. And that meant a lot of people who usually stream into Amsterdam very early in the morning just didn't come. They figured out, well, it's going to be a bad day. What actually happened, as you see, it was really wonderful weather. And as far as I know, there are some people who still feel it was a bit of a stitch up that uh, the weatherman or the weather people must have been paid to claim that there would be bad weather. Whatever, it, well, I mean, look, come on, here the weather is, half the time you think the weather people are trying to kill you because they always get it wrong. So you've, you've got this, this beautiful sunny day and um, I had to be in Amsterdam. So I went out and it was, it was incredible because it's like the city had switched off from, from its normal self, so no businesses, and it was just people. And when I said about this door uh, being un unlocked in the sort of national psyche, I mean, look, I'm not Dutch, and I, as an outsider, you, you're always trying to figure out uh, what you don't understand. And everyone is friendly, and everybody talks and laughs, and, and generally speaking, I mean, most of the people there were people who lived in Amsterdam. And they were all amazed at how quiet it was, and they all went out to take advantage of this strange day. Um, I, I had incredible conversations. One of the conversations I remember was with this guy along the Rook Inn. And I don't know, we just started talking about something. And then we both, I don't know if he said it or I said it, but we, we seemed to come to the conclusion that this is so weird that tomorrow if we see each other, we're not going to talk. But now we will. And I've never understood what that is. And, um, and I think it's that magic that people want to experience. But the problem is if everybody comes, yeah, it, it gets kind of hectic. So anyway, I'm just wandering around, just looking at people and soaking in all this incredibly positive energy. It's very uh, joyful energy. You hear music, people hug you, people laugh. And I wish there was a way that feeling, that sensation that everybody remembers could sort of echo on for at least a couple more months, you know, not, not die the next weekend, but just go on and you sort of enjoy yourselves. So this, um, these pictures that you're seeing are basically uh, me walking around the city, I, th I don't know, I think over a four hour period or so, beginning near Central Station since I live there and just just wandering around not even going far out not going out into the suburbs or anything like that but just staying around the center and seeing what's going on so this is um, I, I, I haven't done a King's Day since then I have no oh, oh no that's not true yes uh, I was supposed to say yesterday last year I did go out for a little bit but that was uh, you know, I found these quiet spots so, uh, yes, as I was saying, enjoy the pictures. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the ones you've seen so far. This was my impression of King's Day, the King's Day that, um, yeah, <laughs> the King's Day that uh, disappointed a lot of people, but for the Amsterdamers was probably a really cool one.